Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my Top Tweak of the Day series. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at this awesome tweak called Message Colors. Now, this was actually a Jailbreak fan-inspired tweak. So, in this video, I'm gonna quickly run through exactly what this tweak does. Today's is pretty simple, but I think it looks absolutely awesome for anyone looking to spice up their iMessages. Now, if you guys are looking for a jailbreak update, definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker. Not only will you guys be notified the second the jailbreak utility is updated for these new devices, but you'll also get the latest updates from Pwn and other sources about the A12 jailbreak news. Tweaks and sources down below in this video's description. Let's get directly into things. So for these videos, I usually don't start out in the settings app, but here are the few toggles you have. You basically can enable it, you can enable dark mode, and then you pick the message colors and you have different ones for iMessages and SMS and basically this is just going to create a gradient from blue to pink and from blue to green for these specific messages. All right, well, let me show you exactly what I am talking about. Well, this, as you guys can see, is an iMessage, and the really cool thing is when you scroll, the gradient just fades, and so that just looks absolutely incredible. So that is iMessages, and then let's go back. This right here is SMS. You can have different colors for both. I think this looks just absolutely fantastic, and again, is really why I wanted to share it with you guys. So that is basically the gist of this tweak. It's super Super simple, but you can create some awesome things with some other tweaks. I really have yet to see a tweak like this where the gradient fades between different messages, and I just really wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it just looked absolutely incredible. So let me show you a few other things in this video before you guys go. So let's go ahead and test out the dark mode. Oh, that worked perfectly fine. So now, okay, this looks sweet in dark mode. That is dope, actually. I'm really liking that and both messages look absolutely fantastic. So that's a cool alternative right there too. So you have light mode, you have dark mode, and then you have translucent mode. Granted, this isn't with this tweak, this is with translucent messages, but it plays super nicely with messages colors. I really like the color splash. It might be a lot for some people, but this looks absolutely incredible. And again, for both SMS and iMessage, it flows really nicely. And again, translucent messages just takes your background wallpaper and blurs it behind your messages app, not only on the thread screen, but within specific threads as well. Anyways, that is about it in this video, guys. The very last tweak I guess I have is bar emoji, like always. I have no more app bar to hide that right there so you guys can see in a little bit more full screen exactly what this tweak does. Anyway, I know there's a tweak at the top here to change uh, these blue icons to some other color. I can't think of what that tweak is called at the top of my head, but that's about the very last thing I think you guys could do in the Messages app. Anyway, guys, if you have an awesome message tweak that wasn't listed in this video, I would love to check it out, so definitely comment it down below in this video's description. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Before you go, definitely bookmark our Jailbreak A12 status checker pages, not only to stay updated with the latest Jailbreak news, we have uh, the latest tweets from Pwn and other sources on this article as well, but of course, you guys will be notified the second the Jailbreak utility is updated for A12 devices. As always, definitely like, comment and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for the support anyway guys thank you so much for watching this quick video but until next time this is tony signing out Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU, and today we have some fantastic news to discuss pertaining to the development of the iOS 12 through 12.1.2 Uncovered Jailbreak for A12 through A12X devices. As many of you know, if you own one of Apple's latest iPhones or iPads, including the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, or the 2018 iPad Pro models, then you have not been able to jailbreak yet, but that's about to change. Again, Pwn is working diligently on updating Uncover, and we've kept you guys updated throughout the way. So earlier today, Pwn tweeted out, quote, successfully got unsigned code execution with Trust Cash Injection working on A12 through A12X, which is fantastic news. As many of you know, that is the core concept behind a jailbreak, unsigned code execution, code that Apple hasn't approved, arbitrary code functioning on an iOS device. This is 
fantastic. Again, it looks like there are just some more minor updates and polish required before the A12 through A12X jailbreak is released. It should be any day now. And he followed that up saying, hello from A12 with some proof that again, this is an A12 device actually running with root access. And then again, another follow-up tweet saying, quote, got SSH running on A12 and running the uname A command, which again, just prints what the device actually is, the kernel information, all that good stuff. And again, also confirming that it is root access. So fantastic news, guys. And A12 through A12X jailbreak should be released shortly. Just be sure to stay subscribed to the channel. Check out that status checker page. It's the very first link below. You literally can't miss it. And I for one, I'm excited for the A12 jailbreak. Hopefully you guys are too. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. All right, so to start off, let's go ahead and pull down my notification center right here. Here I have quite a few things going on. Now, as you guys probably know, I have Jellyfish installed, which brings this awesome clock widget right here to the lock screen and notification center. But one of the new widgets I wanted to show you guys is actually called Talion, and it brings these nice kind of complications to the lock screen. And right now I have the weather and battery widget enabled right now. Basically, you have two positions where you can enable different widgets, and there's quite a bit of variety that you guys can choose from. Now, the reason why I went to the notification center instead of just the lock screen was to actually show you guys what my notifications look like. Now, I have color banners too to colorize them based on the app colors, but the new tweak that I wanted to tell you guys about is called Notifica, and it brings this awesome new layout slash look, I guess, to the actual notifications where the application icon is above the notification. Now, another widget that I'm really fond of lately is called Weather 12. And right now I have it enabled via Zen HTML and Zen Info on my home screen. And it basically just shows the weather as well as the time right down here. But you guys can actually place this on the lock screen if you guys want to as well. But that one's called Weather 12. Now, a really cool one that was just released, I think literally yesterday is called Smart Rotate. So if I go into the orientation lock if I just force press it. Now I have a couple options here. As you guys can see, it says portrait only or disable only in videos. So if I click that right there, now my device is locked to portrait mode. Um, if I pull up something like Safari right here, as you guys can see, it's locked in portrait mode. But if I actually go ahead and try to start a video, then it changes to landscape. So that one right there is called Smart Rotate, and it's an awesome one. It adds the really cool interface to actually disable um, portrait mode only in videos. So a really interesting one that I thought I would share with you guys is called Better Reachability. So if I just pull up Reachability, now it actually scales down the entire user interface of the iPhone and you can actually drag it to the left and right. But basically now you can use your iPhone um, as you would expect, but it's just miniaturized. So you can kind of use it with one hand if you guys want to, and then just swipe down at the bottom to get back to the regular size thing. But instead of the normal reachability, let's see, yeah, that's kind of what the normal reachability looks like. Um, instead of that, now you have this nice little scaled down interface. So the next one I wanted to share with you guys is called Alarm Fade. Now this basically fades in the alarm in the mornings, which it's a kind of quality of life tweak, but I really like it because it works really well. Basically the only settings toggle that you have right here is the seconds duration of how long the fade is going to be, but I set a alarm for a 1020. So let's go ahead and demo this on screen so you guys can hear exactly what it sounds like. So there we have it guys, it's starting off super quiet and I'm guessing over the next about minute, it's going to just gradually increase the volume level. And that's really interesting, the volume HUD actually came up, but there you guys see, it's slowly rising the volume level of the alarm. So I'll just give it a second so you guys can see. And there was that gradual increase that I want to show you guys. Anyway guys, that one's called Alarm Fade. I think you get the gist of that. So another great quality of life one is when you're taking an application and dragging it into a folder, if you actually hold, it will open the folder um, like normal. But typically when you just hover over it, immediately that folder is going to open. 
But if you want to drag multiple applications in at once, this tweak called Folder Open No More lets you simply just start to drag uh, and drop a bunch of applications in without actually opening up the folder. So that one's called Folder Open No More. It's an awesome one that I think you guys should definitely check out. All right, so again, on the new tweak released list, this one is called Call Recorder X Plus. And this basically does what it says. It records your incoming and outgoing phone calls. So just to demo this, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the phone application here. Um, I'm going to cover up my phone number real fast, but I'm just going to call myself. And uh, so I'll call myself. And as you guys can see, we have the record icon right there. And this is just going to go to my voicemail, but All right, so that's kind of a good example. I placed the call, did absolutely nothing, and in the background, as you guys can see, I have one notification on call recorder, and if I go into this, now I have two saved calls. One is at 1022 that just happened, and uh, you can actually go ahead and put it on speaker right here, so you guys can hear it, and if I hit play. And that's really cool. It actually transcribes the message right there. But as you guys can see, uh, it entirely records your phone conversations, which I think is a great feature to have. I don't know how legal this one is in all cases and in all states and countries, but use this one at your guys' own discretion. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at a few more in this video. The next one I wanted to talk about is called Big Cards. Now, this one basically just makes the cards in the multitasking pane a lot larger. It's pretty much the entire screen, as you guys can see. Just an awesome little tweak if you guys want your cards to be a little bit bigger. All right, in contrast, if you want your applications in the multitasking pane to be smaller and have more of them, this one called Mini Grid Switcher brings up a more iPad-esque style multitasking pane with six applications present. So that's a pretty cool alternative as well. So a pretty fun one, Nude Keys has actually been updated for iOS 12. So that just removes the background of the individual keys on your keyboard. So another fun one is called Harbor 2, which basically brings the Mac OS style dock with the magnification to your iPhone. Granted, this one is kind of buggy with other tweaks installed like floating dock and things like that, but it still does the job and it still looks pretty sweet in my opinion. Anyway guys, that one's called Harbor 2. Now, very lastly in this video, we'll do an iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, and 10R specific tweak. This one is called Notch Volume HUD. And it's a really fun little volume indicator HUD that I like to have on my device. Again, it's pretty new, but around the notch on the iPhone 10, now you have your volume status displayed right there. And I think that's a really neat and interesting way to kind of hide the volume HUD, but it works super well. Anyway, guys, that one's called Notch Volume HUD. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, taking a look at 15 some new tweaks for the iOS 12 to 12.1.2 jailbreak. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys think I missed a tweak or if you have a favorite that I missed, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, before you head out, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Again, definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker pages for you A12 users if you guys don't wanna miss out when the jailbreak utility is updated. That's about all I have for you in this video. Thank you again so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony.